Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is Wednesday, March 25th of 2020, and it's uh, about 10.30 a.m. in the morning. I think it's supposed to get to 80-something today here in Fort Worth. Alexa, what's the weather forecast? In Fort Worth, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast calls for more of the same, with a high of 88 degrees and a low of 64 degrees. 88 degrees. That is summertime. So, what's going on? I have, I still have the same monitor, 4K, one monitor on the desk. Um... I have, I moved my, one of my, I have a, a number of chargers, uh, USB charging type devices or whatever, and I, uh, I, I moved this, moved one down here, and I used ties to uh, keep the cord and stuff, to keep it from falling hopefully off the desk. I got my cell phone plugged into it, type C. Okay, and it's fully charged. You know, I mentioned a day or two ago um, that uh, this cell phone works great for me. It's, it's I like it. it. has a case on it, rubberized case and everything. It's gold color. Of course, you don't see it now, you know, uh, but it's nice, but... I'm wanting one of the uh, Google cell phones that sells for about $400. Well, they have the, what, uh, Pixel 3a, I think it is, and then the 3a XL. And because of the camera on that, well, actually, it's not the lenses so much; it's the software. But it, it people are saying. I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos on that. People are saying that uh, the images that you get are as good as the thousand-dollar cell phones that have four or five camera lenses on them, or whatever. So, because I guess it's done in soft, you know, done in software. So I'm kind of wanting, but. If you watch my videos, you know I'll be sitting here for a month or longer uh, talking about I'm going to get this or want this or should I get this or should I get that. It's too bad that my, every time that I've, I don't think I've ever had a cell phone break on me or I don't have them that long. And then I... Uh, pass them on to my kids, but I think everything, I've already passed everything on to the kids. Um, anyway, um, I ordered a external filter. Let me bring this up so I can see what you can see. Let's see here. There's my 29-gallon tank, and as you, I don't know if you can see, looks from what I'm seeing, it looks kind of dark in there. But um, maybe I could move it a little bit. Yeah, there you can see the other filter, one on each side. Um, I've been using those sponge filters. And there I am back again, right? Uh, you need to take those sponge filters out occasionally and uh, wring them out, not uh, not run chlorinated water or anything through them, you know. But you need it, it takes a little bit of well, it does with an extra, but anyway. My wife and I, back in the 1960s, for four years, had a tropical fish shop. 
and we used for all our tanks under gravel water filters underneath the gravel. I like those. They still have them. But uh, this time I went with these. And, of course, one should have been enough, and it has been, for this tank. But I got two and put those in there. But I'm thinking now, by the way, I have a ton of shrimp in there, ruby shrimp or whatever. You couldn't see them from your view. I guess I could move the. Anyway, and maybe I'll do that some other time. <clears throat> but, of course, I want to make sure they don't get sucked into. So I'm going to. Or I already did. Yeah, I already ordered a uh, outside filter uh, for $25 from Amazon. Oh, what I wanted to tell you, I uh, just decided just for the heck of it, I'm going to check and see if they have any toilet paper. And they had, had a bunch. <laughs> and so I thought, you know, well, I thought, well, when I click on it, it's going to say not available or whatever. I clicked on it. I thought, that's strange. So I ordered um, five rolls of tauta paper for four eighty-five, and I ordered at the same time ten rolls of tauta paper for eight twenty-six. And then when I went to uh, check out, the date is May. Actually, it gives you a uh, May May fifth or sixth to something something you know to a little bit later. This is um, March twenty fifth. I mean, we've got toilet paper and we're not hoarding it. We're not over you know we we have enough to. Well, I don't think we have enough to last till May, but maybe we do. I don't know. But uh, so anyway, it's. I'll, I'll let you know how that works out. <clears throat> I guess there's always a possibility that they could end up shipping a little bit sooner or whatever. Uh, did I mention hair clippers? I don't know if I did or not. Can't remember now. I've been using just, you know, hair clipper for years on my head. I mean, I don't go to a barber and I just, and sometimes I miss the spot. I, I don't know if I, I think the lighting is, let me, anyway, I need to work on the camera placement a little bit and, uh, and lighting. Maybe I need to bring over my, I have a light over there with, up on a pole with an umbrella thing. Maybe I just need to bring it over here and really put the light down on here. <clears throat> but anyway, I've been using this, a one that was an AC, plugged into the AC for, for years. And, uh. You know, of course, in the bathroom. So I'll be using it. Sometimes the cord will go down into the water. <clears throat> Sometimes the uh, cord will knock, knock something off the uh, counter next to the sink because I got a bunch of stuff on there. A bunch of stuff that I don't really use. And I really, why well, have it there sitting there in the way all the time? But so I uh, went to Amazon. This is after my, because I found out after I placed my order. Went to uh, Amazon and I saw wireless clippers. And I thought, okay, that would be better. And plus two, when I'm using these clippers, you know, I don't want the hair to fall in the sink. Uh, but then I need to get close so I can see, you know. Of course, actually, I'm kind of doing it just by over an area, you know, like like a lawnmower, you know, riding lawnmower just going around in my head or whatever. But uh, I don't want it to stop up the sink. So it falls on the floor and it's kind of, you know, then I have to sweep it up or whatever. So I, uh, I thought, you know, with the wireless clippers, I could just go out on the patio. The wind would blow it away and just do it out there. So anyway, I did see uh, something that looked like a good, you know, a good deal and a good brand name and whatever. And then I looked at the, uh, and it had like four stars, which is not bad. And then I went down and looked and people were saying battery did, battery didn't last long, battery this, battery that. So I'm going to have to really do, uh, 
do some thinking about that. Um, let's see. I actually made some notes this time. I made some notes the other day, you know, about something. And it's not a bad idea. I should I should have been doing that for a long time. Um, well, the deal went through. I went and deleted about two or three. I think I deleted about three uh, videos that I've uploaded in the last, I don't know, week or two. Because I talked about, uh, one, nobody wants to hear talking about politics. I don't, it just, the only reason I, I vent, you know, not trying to convince anybody, because I know I found that out a long time ago. Nobody ever changes their opinion, ever. And I mentioned that before, that back starting in 1982, I had a computer bulletin board system set up, one of the first in the nation. And... Uh, I had discussions, you know, and like all that, you know, everything that is now being discussed, uh, abortion, uh, gun, you know, guns, whatever. And what I did was uh, had like on one side pro-gun, you know, all the points and things. And then on the other side, you know, a statement of, why guns are bad or why they should be banned or controlled or whatever. And I did that on every, you know, abortion. So I put the, uh, and it wasn't difficult for me. I guess now, looking at the way people are, I don't think somebody else could uh, uh, do that. I had no problem of presenting the other person's point of view and, presenting the other person's point of view or what of course one of those would be my point of view you know and I had no problem with that and I did it fairly and then we had a discussion board for each one of those and people discussed it never well there was one sort of unusual discussion board we had and that was like best hamburgers and uh, people actually did change I mean not everybody I mean a few and but on the other subjects no one ever ever said, you know, you know your, uh, your points on uh, guns are really good. I never thought of that before. And I, and I, and I that never, ever happened. And that's when I learned. In, so if somebody is doing a YouTube video or, a, I don't know, if you have a WordPress site or something set up, and if you're giving your opinion, that's fine. Give your opinion. I like reading them, you know. Uh, but if you think you're going to convince somebody, I don't care what information you present. I don't care if you have videos, <laughs> audios, uh, you know, people do not change their minds. And uh, so uh, anyway, I deleted <coughs> some that were sort of out of date. Uh, things with political well there was other things and that's the problem I should limit everything to a subject one subject you know one of these videos should be hair clippers another video should be made on uh, toilet paper or something you know but that's not the way I do things so suffer through it or you know go look at kitten videos or whatever um so I deleted some of those videos, um, but what I wanted to mention was the, uh, there it is, the stimulus package. It has, I, I guess it hasn't officially passed. They've come to an agreement and then now they're going to vote, but it's, you know, it's all worked out. I, unless somebody throws a monkey wrench into it somehow, you know, um. Something I follow politics with. Well, I'm an expert on politics because I watched the TV show The West Wing all the way through many times. I sometimes just go for the heck of it. And of course, now I'm at the point where I can just skip these episodes when I, you know, oh no, I remember. But I mean, so I, I'm a, I should have a, 
I should have I should have get a degree from the West Wing TV people in politics or something. But one thing I didn't know that they could do was they don't have to have all the members of Congress in Washington D.C. or in you know in the chamber uh, because they have something and I forget what it's called where if something is uh, of, not of importance now of course this <laughs> this thing you know a multi-trillion dollar deal th this is important but they're you know saying it well it's not and that enables them to with almost nobody present I guess in the chamber uh, to come up and call for a vote. Now, of course, if anybody, even, of course, I mean, if you don't have to be in the chamber, those people who are at home or wherever they are or in isolation or whatever they are, if one of those people, and there's 535, well, I'm not sure if that's a House thing or a House and Senate thing. I know it's a House thing. If, uh, of course, there's only a hundred people in the Senate, so there's 435 or something or whatever the number is in the House. If one of those people says, no, I'm not, I don't agree that this should be, we can use such and such to uh, pass this, then they would have to uh, leave their homes in California and Oregon and Michigan and Alabama and uh, Tennessee and Oklahoma and Missouri and get on an airplane and uh, <laughs> fly to Washington, D.C. and cast their vote and then get on an airplane and go back. And, of course, you get the idea of the virus, you know. So they don't want to do that. But I think if one person objects, so... That's something I didn't learn in the West Wing TV show, or maybe it was presented, and maybe I just wasn't paying attention that day. So, um, anyway, about the money, it looks like that it's, let's see, I think I clicked on that, yeah. You know, there's more to it than just, of course, what I'm interested in is um, this $2 trillion stimulus deal. It's going to help people with unemployment payments. It's going to help people who are uh, on food stamps. It's going to help kids who are in school. Now that school is closed, there's a lot of kids here in the United States that the only real decent meal that they get is because their parents don't have much money. Uh, and I'm... Uh, you know, so it's going to help a whole bunch of different people in different areas. But in addition to that, everyone in the United States, unless you make over $75,000 a year, over, I'm seeing two numbers here, over $99,000 a year or something, then you're not going to get this. But the rest of the Americans, including myself, uh, are going to get... $1,200 sent out. And uh, they want to get it out as quick as possible because people need it. And uh, also it's going to help the economy. Uh, <clears throat> like I mentioned the other day, I mean, it's going to be nice, yeah, to get. Uh, and I'm on Social Security in a very, very small pension um, so I definitely can use it but it's not critical you know the way it is with these people who are not working or lost their jobs or all the you know all the type of these situations those people desperately need it but in, in, instead of and plus they want to help the economy so um, it Looks like it's going to be, it's, my understanding, it's $1,200. And, uh, and here, I live here sharing an apartment with my ex-wife. We've been divorced for over 40 years. And my grown son. 
So each of us will get $1,200. Um, and now my ex-wife will probably put that away for an emergency. Uh, my son and I have probably, uh, we will be helping the economy. I guarantee you we're going to help the economy. Uh, and that's what the government wants. Uh, so they're saying that uh, that it's going to take a while to get that out. I think they said um, let's see. Okay. Sending checks individually, but uh, it will take till at least May, they think, before the checks come out. And uh, I remember they mentioned here that it took, and what, what was it, 20, oh, what was it, 2001? Okay, I gotta look at this again. Da, 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 da. At least 90% of Americans will receive this full or partial payment. Uh, they use qualifying uh, federal income tax returns for the information. Um, oh, okay, in 2005, it took six weeks for the IRS to start sending out rebate checks authorized by President George W. Bush. I think that was one that was $500, and I remember getting that. Somebody, I, the other day I read something about that. There was two things like that. I don't remember ever getting another uh, payment. Maybe I did. But I know $500 was like, because I remember blogging about, I think I mentioned that too in a video. I blogged that it was, don't just send people $500. Uh, be creative. Do something different. And I came up with a couple stupid plans. You know, I said, as an example, I said, this is not good plan. But think of something different rather than just give everybody $500. I said, if you're going to give somebody $500, uh, make it that uh, everybody will have to, that everybody will be sent one bicycle. And the bicycle has to be made here in the United States and not by a large company. It could be, you know, individuals, work out something where uh, small people could, you know, throw together. I mean, they, maybe they could buy parts and put them together and, so you'd have different, hey, you know, this person did this and that. Send everybody a bicycle, and that wouldn't cost $500. Well, of course, it could cost, you know, more than 500 if you got titanium and all this, you know. Uh, but uh, I said, and that was back when energy was a problem. I said, send everybody uh, lights, you know, the energy efficient. I'm, and I'm, I'm not sure. It might have been the fluorescent energy because I started I was an early adopter I paid a lot of money for each and uh, right away had I would buy like one one a payday or whatever got paid every two weeks or whatever and then I had my whole place with the compact fluorescent whatever bulbs and then when the LED bulbs came out I switched over to those immediately and uh so, but anyway, I said just, and also send everybody a box of these light bulbs. Or, but I said, you know, hey, that's not, come up with some other, come up with some other ideas rather than just send them a hundred or five hundred dollars. But uh, in this case, I think the one thousand two hundred, <clears throat> I think in the very beginning there was some thought of there being a second payment. And I would be surprised if they, it would be very stupid of them not to have in this law that if Congress decided to make another payment, that all they had to do would be vote on it, you know, both houses, the House and the Senate. 
And if they wanted to, they could make it be requiring a 60%, you know, what I, th I think, I don't think they should do that. <clears throat> but they could do something like that just so that Congress doesn't have to go through this thing again. Because when they go through, when they come up with things like this, then there's always people there that, hmm, uh, I like pigeons and I want a, you know, refuge for pigeons made and somebody else says, uh, I like uh, flowers in a yard so everybody should require, I mean, everybody has these pet projects that they throw, throw in there so it'd be better, I mean, surely they put in a thing that says, oh, you know, we, and if, if we decide, you know, so I don't know. So I think that's, um, You know, um, I haven't heard of anybody using it, but uh, there is a a way that we can have, that a YouTube per person can have assistance to help them with their channel. And I'm not sure exactly how much, you know, of course you can set it where you're not, you're not going to set somebody as, hey, where they could go in and delete all of your videos or, a, you know, even one of your, you know, you're going to, you have different layers like, uh, well, like WordPress sites and uh, things, you know, things like that where you have, what I could use would be, and I'm not sure if you could, you know, of course, you could specify, okay, the person can't delete any uh, videos. But it would be nice if you have the thing that, hey, if you could trust somebody, hey, if, if you, because I have like, what, over a thousand videos here. Some of them are crap, you know. So, but I don't want to go back and watch them, you know, because they're crap. But it'd be kind of nice if I could uh, give somebody the authority. Okay. And maybe it should be said, okay, this person says these videos here should be deleted. Do they, do you want them to be able to do it or do you approve or, you know, whatever. But what I could use is somebody to go through and put tags in. Uh, also, of course, if somebody was, if you picked the wrong person, he could go through and put in, uh, tags it would get the thing turned off and I mean you, you know you could if some if somebody's going to be but I could use somebody to go through and put in the tags I could also use somebody <laughs> who I would be a big job somebody who when they watch the video could go through and you know write down the time and say okay then you know you could put in the uh, title uh, if you're interested in hearing Jim talk about uh, toilet paper that starts at uh, 6 minutes and 25 seconds. If you're interested in hearing Jim talk about uh, hair clipper, that, start, you know, that would be really ideal. You know, that would appear underneath the uh, thing. If you really had somebody that you trusted, you know, you could allow them to actually go to do, the ed do some editing on your video. They could actually go into the video, and uh, I'm too lazy to do it. You could have them go into the video and they could put in, they wouldn't, you could just put, you know, underneath, click here to go. Uh, so anyway, just an idea. Um, I haven't ordered a memory yet for my Chromebox, HP Chromebox G2. But I want to step it up to, okay, now I forget. I, again, I forget how much. It's going to be at least eight. And it's uh, the old video that's, or the old, the old chip that's in here now, four uh, gig will come out. And I'll put in two, eight gig. So it's going to be 16 gig. For less than a hundred dollars, and 
Of course, I'm not using that Chrome box, but anyway. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I may mention again, if you happen to, I don't think you, if you happen to notice that a, a few videos are missing, it's because I, I'm looking at the ones that are political because the situation changed. Like I made a video a few days ago that said, uh, stock market is going to crash and blah, blah, or whatever, that, you know. And then that thing's over. And then people, if, if somebody's doing a, a year from now or whatever, oh, do a search for stock market crashing. And then they're going to end up watching a video from, you know, a year ago or two years ago or ten years ago or something. So... Anyway, thank you very much for watching.